Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Brevman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So the round of where we left off, uh, we are still attacking India and we have significant build up of Mughal forces near Bengal. So we need to uh, expand the front somewhat. We have troops landing in the south and we're going to capture Katak and then get to this military governor's barra barracks on our side to help produce troops on the continent. So without further ado, with this attack, we'll be going in pretty quickly uh, because they do have mortars so we'll need to go on the offensive pretty pretty quickly and they don't have uh, many defensive fortifications which we will probably build ourselves um, because there is not there is a chance that this aren't this uh, territory could become uh, besieged fairly quickly um, however that's generally how you got to beat the Marathas take the war to them keep pushing and then eventually the jobs are good and so let's deploy our guns deploy our infantry line so I deploy my guns back like this because it generally ends up being a easier it becomes easier to try and manage their fire later on how it says they're just going to uh, fire carcass shot Cavalry are going to be up on the flank, so General's going to be in the centre. Hmm. Switch to round shot. So what, what I want to do, just a second everyone. Oh, there we go. Right, so what I want to do is take a formation of troops and form them up on the left. They are actually engaging my howitzers. Mortar garrisons firing. Right, okay, that's not good. So the goal here is to send some troops, some troops uh, around the left. It looks like they do want to actually try and push us on the right. So we'll have to keep. Well, no, to be honest, some troops will just push up like so. Where's my light cav? You, sir, have to do a lightning raid to try and knock out these guns. Although you could actually maneuver around the flank and hit them from the rear. Switch our how it says to quick lime or carcass shot to start to try and attack some of these enemy units there we go so I want my light cavalry to go around and hit some of these mortars field artillery is just going to shoot the heck out of these dervishes Unfortunately, these are all melee unit formations, so we can run around them. Apart from the Hindu musketeers, but. Uh... So, Regiment Etranger are going to get a nice volley off into these Zemindari horsemen. Okay, you guys can not fire anymore to prevent friendly fire. Uh, light cavalry, light cavalry, light cavalry. Here you come.
quickly I'm actually starting to hit these factions on the right. I'm too late. Too late, my Hindu musketeers. So these guys are going to go in there, clear out their infantry. See if they follow us. Check out my light cavalry. They've charged some of their. Okay, I am prepared to lose my. to lose my guns. To lose my cavalry, rather. You guys drop into square. Yeah, you can charge. Try charge. So they, they've, they've managed to make their cavalry dismount. So my cavalry charge in to deal with those two fangy, these Zimindari horsemen. You guys position against the dervishes, you guys push it up here. Cressiers around. Change the artillery targets. You need to chase down those musketeers. And make sure they shatter, or at least try as hard as possible to make them shatter. Get one house to work on those two fangy. Fine, I didn't want you to hit the dervishes, but whatever. Lots of artillery inbound. These pikemen, did they make it in? They did make it in. How many have they got? 100, and you've got about 100 left as well. down, push up our infantry, push that flank around, my light cavalry have finally broken, um, but it has come at the cost of pretty much, well the bulk of their forces in the field. Here comes our regiment étranger, and they've gone. So the two fangies, they are they're like an armed populace unit, so I don't expect them to hold on. The all artillery engage the general. He was trying to get his men to. He was trying to make his men return to the field. Anyway, these guys should be okay to knock out them. 
There goes the general, let's charge in my infantry anyway, some more infantry. General's been killed. Mm-hmm, there we go. The are other units are starting to, to crack. Who's left? Got a couple of units towards the centre of town. You guys push up around the rear of their formation. You guys push up to the top of this ridge. The waters are still existing. Bit more of their levy exists. Yeah, they've broken as well. Go on, kill the levy. My heavy cavalry. This is the annoying thing about fighting armies like this, because you end up sending penny packets of troops everywhere. Because we do also have a new unit of musketeers that's decided to come back. Who are out of range of my guns. So these elephants, if they stick the bombardment, I was going to say they will fall to my infantry. Keep on with the charge. Levy have routed. So let's run my cavalry around that set of spikes. Around to make sure we can charge these musketeers without causing too much grief. No, don't run too far forward. Pop into them from this direction. Sounds good to me. Oh, there they go. Speed up time, and yeah, it's probably ended there. That one, that one was a bit of a slow burn, really. So I don't really want to uh, continue it. But there we go. For 400 men, we've taken Kutak. We can rebuild the governor's barracks, rebuild the settlement fortifications, get these guys replenishing. So the idea is to open up more fronts for them to have to split their troops. So this guy, we might draw them south towards us. Uh, we yes. will want... So you are picking up more artillery. Sir. Which is all you need, really. Four foot artillery, two howitzers. And that's Calcutta booked up. But we do have Ceylon is churning out four infantry a turn. Soon to become th uh, five infantry a turn. Yes, sir. Our cot is ours and they're being repaired. We don't need this naval hospital. Not if we've got a steam dry dock. Send our spy up to Hyderabad. Spy. Send this rake down here to try and kill him. 6% chance. Let's 
send this fella over to Goa. Because we are trying to convert the population to our religion. Let's hop over to the States. So you are fully recruiting another army. What about Philadelphia? Lose. Is that a port? It is a port. Good stuff. Let's get some more firepower <laughs> recruiting over in the States to come over and join us. Yeah, you don't need to march all the way up to Edinburgh. You guys just replenish. London is now increasingly under our control. We shouldn't have any more rebellions. Going after the steam engine. Classical economics is a great one to go for. We are at war with Sweden, but I am focusing primarily on India because that's where the most of the problems are. But I don't think there's a lot we can realistically do, except maybe recruit another army in England to join them. 32 pounders heavy horse artillery. Ooh. 24 pounders heavy horse guard artillery. Okay, so let's get that in two units of foot plus a heavy howitzer and a howitzer. Actually, no, hold on. So, heavy horse guard artillery is good for... Uh, well, it's good for providing a bucket load of artillery, actually. <laughs> Uh, into your armies. So I think that'll probably do. Because you think it's two batteries of artillery, but each artillery piece has five guns. So two units of these is ten guns, which is the same as roughly three units of field artillery. So it's quite efficient. So let's do that. And maybe even... To be honest, if... March you guys down to Boston. Let's keep churning out five infantry from Quebec to help bulk out these armies a bit quicker. You can join whatever army comes over here. Okay, everything else seems... Well, as okay as it can be, um, we're going to be in trouble. That's why units like armies like this guy, and these guys will help hold off these guys pushing around from the east. Lord. You may even end up building a fort. Prepare fortification! And then immediately upgrade it to an artillery fort. Now let's hit end turn. Ah, we've got our forces outside Copenhagen. Uh, yes. Let's attack the city. Let's attack the city and let's see if we can earn a temporary peace while also at the same time build up a navy to block as much of the Swedish navies up inside the Baltics and we don't have to worry about naval invasions. That would be quite a good outcome, I think. <laughs> they don't have any artillery, so my field artillery is just going to deploy up on the highest point. Take all of our infantry. So the main the main focus is because they don't have much infantry, just focus on surrounding them. If possible. We will have bandwidth to uh, encircle them. Just gotta make sure we've got our Artillery up together. Some good infantry here. Got some experienced gren grenadiers. Not just any grenadiers. The first grenadier regiment fought all over the US. Now they're fighting in Sweden. Drop it. 
to square. You guys halt. You guys form a crooked position to your line. Oh. The dragoons have dismounted. Well, my cuirassiers can attack the regiment of horse. This infantry set up to gun down the dragoons that have, dis that have dismounted. Positioning's not so great on the on the uh, on the right. Okay, let's just take you. There we go. How it does engage the line infantry guards? Bring the cavalry across. Regular unit of line infantry shouldn't have much trouble with them, although these Kura de Bois don't actually have a good line of sight. Push up in their faces. Keep the cavalry going towards the centre to look for more exploitable opportunities against lighter infantry. Dragoons went for my own cavalry. I should throw my cavalry in against their, their routing troops just to make sure they don't come back. Artillery engage them, I guess, the 93rd Garrison Provincial. Okay, they're now shaken, they're wavering, so I can probably now just let you fire off one more volley if you've got one. Nope. Okay, instead. Charge. Unsurprisingly, that unit came back. You can still engage them pretty well. Friendly fire carcass shot this time. Infantry should be okay, should be a decent win. Let's get the 23rd around onto the left. Yeah, so these guys now get to experience the morale sapping effects of both uh, fire by rank, which makes your morale drop in big steps. And then constant fire from these guys that will make it slowly tick down. Next one will do it. Lose a few members of the 23rd from being shot in the back. Two of them. Go on, then. new charge. Charge in against the 94th as well. There they go. Stop the artillery. The 7th Regiment. Pretty experienced now. So compare that to a. Yeah, 5 chevron, 50 accuracy, 35 reloading skill, 44, 29 on a rank, on a level rank 2. So they are much, 
better infantry at killing. Oh yeah, the 94th have been charged by more infantry. Now it's the militia that's coming back. over here. Look at that. Look how close they got to the edge of the map before deciding, yeah, you know what, uh, let's stick around. When the battle is lost, yet they still decide to stick around. There we go. They're, they're wavering on the charge. But they're standing back up. But they're losing a lot of men rather quickly. Good, the formation on the right's routed. It's just these militia left. There we go. They routed and immediately left the field. Pretty sure that's it. Yes, there we go. Heroic victory. There we go. So the city of Copenhagen is ours. comes one of our spies. Fear not, Royal Navy. Continue to do your battles against whomever you like, as long as they stay nowhere, they come nowhere near my shores. Mustn't forget, Spain is an enemy now. Yeah, sending forces our way. You going to try and interfere with our trade? You are, by the looks of it. Or maybe raid the French? But this is the end turn to really keep an eye on. Hmm. So let's see. They are going to keep pushing troops. Did, was that an embarked army? It might have been. Oh, you almost made it to the city, but not quite. Do I want to intercept? Interesting proposal. Hmm. So, the front armies aren't very good. But we've got lots of cavalry coming in the reinforcements to knock out their guns. So, what I really need, what I want, is howitzers. But I haven't got any. Question is, do I... If I say no... Well, if I say no, they'll attack me anyway. So, bring in another stack. So what I do here is I move more armies around to the backside of Bengal. That's what I do. So they are pushing on the capital hard with one, two, three, four stacks of troops. And it looks like I can probably then do this. Forward for crown and the country. You want to get your howitzers soon. Okay, first of all, Newport emerges in Panama. Let's build that and get a militia unit ready to block it, or to, to uh, garrison it. Eastport's been built, so let's do that. Newtown emerges in Cumana, New, And New Andalusia, so it becomes a workshop. Fleet arrives. So your position, I think, is to take garrison of Arcot. Ready and waiting. All the way. Disembark the army. Forward. 
Ready and March. waiting for orders. Yes, my lord. To be honest, push towards Mysore. March. Put them under siege. Bring you these infantry as reinforcements. Keep churning out your troops. You can now also start to churn out troops for as long as I care to imagine. Yes, my lord. This is going to be dodgy. This is going to be very dodgy. Let's get you guys to move out of port. Let's put these four Move units forward. aboard ship. Onward. Let's sail you also up to Calcutta. stuff. Let's get you back into port. You try build a church school. You try kill this guy once again. 6% chance. Ah, oh, why did we execute him? He's our guy. To keep feeding our agents into him to try and kill him. Seeking cover. Okay, you build a trade port. Let's hop back over to the Americas. Okay, if I join you with those troops from Canada, you only need one more unit. So let's push you guys down here as well. Good stuff. Actually, it's a howitzer you're after. So you will get that next turn. You guys will be done. So then let's start the recruitment of more troops again. Then back so, up to London. If we keep recruiting in here, they will dump them out. They'll dump them out into that army. So let's make add a bit more pop to these guys. There we go. And then we can also have Glasgow, or Edinburgh building some. Infantry. So when they're ready, they can then be shipped off to India. Let's take this agent Sir. and embark him. Let's take this agent and embark. Sir. Not embark, but waiting for further Sir. orders. There we go. So let's build. While that's going, let's just build a fleet to help take them there or in general this fleet won't entirely be ready to take them over there but they will be able to rapidly redeploy obviously the danes hate us which is why i'm going to repair rebuild and upgrade the fortifications let's repair all of our troops and then let's go okay sweden oh no 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 don't offer regions Peace, trade, threat. <laughs> I knew that wouldn't go down that well, but yeah. Deploy militia to Lublik. Can't recruit any troops yet, but I want to try and occupy these ports. Once we get rid of the university, that'll help a lot. When we repair these buildings, that too will help a lot. Let me try and upgrade the boarding house. Actually, let's probably take... Take our cavalry out and scatter around. Put you into a trade port, upgrade the farm, upgrade the farm. Repair the naval hospital. Don't upgrade this, actually, don't upgrade this yet, but we don't want to lose it. We want to uh, build a Catholic building here. Ah, we are at war with Hanover. Forgot about that. You want 17 grand for peace? Sure. I have an, a rake in New York. 
So you can go and join these forces when they push over to India. You don't need that university. Oh no. Didn't just the cavalry go over. Ready. Waiting for. They're not gonna like us one bit. Your orders, Your Majesty. Oh well. Uh, lots of upgrades for trading company, which is good. El Paso is upgraded to the water, the water powered cloth mill. We've done that. Old Nuts Board in Edinburgh. Lots of top tier buildings, which means our trade income is starting to go, should start to go through the roof. Tax income, sorry. Okay. So you guys are still replenishing. Can I move you out of the Order. town? Orders. I can. you guys can start to pump out troops good stuff you can go sit in the great fortress for now just in case these guys fancy doing something with their I I add yeah you want to go take out my saw uh, I think things are gonna get very spicy around Bengal I could march them east to the sound of the guns but to be honest if I can't do it with these guys let's march you around as well Forward! <laughs> More order. And stop the upgrade to an artillery fort and let's hit and turn and let's see uh, how they do it let's see if let's see if the Mughals do push or, or now due to the fact that I've concentrated my forces if they try and find other avenues for their offensive. They demand 120 grand for trade. Uh, no. No, no, no. I am not going to give you that amount of money. I'd give Austria that money because they'll really mix things up in the center of Europe. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah. That's the kind of thing I expected to happen <laughs> from uh from deploying my troops in the wrong place. But I can't worry about that now. It's the Mughals. I mean, how did they run around my army? How did they run around this I mean, it's not they've got no no movement points. Then you move from there to there. It must have been because they were going into attack. In which case, then they can have it. Oh, I'm gonna have to auto resolve it though. But this army's not ready. I'm gonna auto resolve it. We are mighty and unbowed. Wait, what? Hmm. <laughs> So I altered it because my army was knackered and I really didn't want to I really didn't want to fight that sort of battle, but we somehow won. <laughs> Fate, she works in mysterious ways. Yeah, I bet you're pushing east. So I'm gonna send one army to besiege Mysore. Ooh, no I'm not, we're gonna be intercepted with large mortars and a great gun. Plus we're gonna draw in these guys, which is very useful. I mean, too bad we've hit the, re the supply column. <laughs> so we're going to have to rapidly redeploy to wherever these guys come on. Um, but yeah, looking at the episode timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for more fighting in India. Cheers, everyone.